We've learned over the course of the last two days that there are so many different aspects of Seaford that make it unique. Now it's time to tell you about one more place. How cool is it that Seaford is home to an authentic Salvadoran restaurant? Doña Maria's Pupuseria on High Street has been in existence for about two and a half years now, and owners say residents have really grown accustomed to the ethnic flavors. The Marvel Life's Katie's really gives us a taste. Stepping into Doña Maria's Pupuseria is like traveling out of Seaford and into El Salvador, minus the jet lag and the heavy suitcases. This place is just about as authentic as it gets. What is Doña Maria's? Well, Doña Maria's is my mom to honor her. Doña Maria brought her family here from El Salvador a number of years ago. She also brought a passion for cooking and sharing food from her home country. Opening this restaurant has been her dream. This is her dream. This is what she fought for so many years. And um, every flavor that you see or, or feel in the food, it's my mom. This May will mark three years that the restaurant has existed. Their story has not been without challenges, says one of the owners, Mirla Aliman. A big challenge being getting folks to try out unfamiliar ethnic food. We want everybody to the sits here to taste a part of El Salvador. You know, um, it's not a part of Mexico or Guatemala. We're El Salvador, a different country, a, a different culture. Fortunately, patrons are welcoming this cuisine with open arms or mouths. The menu's most popular item, the pupusas. Pupusas is um, about a pancake, like a, a pancake size um, tortilla stuffed with either pork and cheese, chicken and cheese, um, different meats, shrimp, uh, but we also cater to the people that don't eat meat. All right, so I've never made a pupusa before. I actually had no idea what one was before I walked in here, but now I'm going to try it. Luckily, though, I've got Mirla here who's going to show me how it's done. What do I do? Grab masa or the uh, maseca dough. How much? Corn. A little more than that. More than Just that? More. Yes. Now roll it in a, in a little bowl. Okay. And make a hole in the middle. Now, which that do you want? Pork. Pork. Let's do it. Okay. Just gonna put, put all that in there. All right. All right. So now close it back up. Close it back up. Okay. Here we go. Oop. Make sure that no holes are left Can't in there because holes. if not, the meat is gonna come out. Oh no. Okay. Perfect. Now you're gonna make a tortilla. You have to put a little bit of force in it. She says a small percentage of Americans in the Seaford area had had Salvadoran food before they opened. People come and ask me, do, I, do you have tacos? And I'm like, uh, no, we don't have tacos, but you can try pupusas. But now she says her customer base is about 60% American and 40% Latino. We want Doña Maria's to be a house for everybody that wants, wants to come here and see what we can offer to them and taste our food. By tasting the food, you're sharing in Doña Maria's dream which at this point, she's passed on to her family. My sister has decided that, okay, I'm gonna put my, the pants on and I'm gonna continue to, I'm gonna continue with this that my mom has left for us. Doña Maria might not be as involved as she once was, but without her, this place wouldn't be possible. I will never thank my mother enough for giving us the opportunity to be here and being where we are. And I just thank her all the time for being the, the person that she is for us. A person with fearless faith, dedicated to caring for her kin and serving Seaford the best of El Salvador. That food really sounds good. It really, it looks good. It looks good. And I love the family story behind it too. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Doña Maria offers special pupusa deals on Tasty Tuesday too. Yeah, and they also say you can order food online. We'll provide you with a link on our website.